Hey guys and welcome to Game Gango's vocabulary series. In this video you're going to learn a ton of Japanese. We're going to learn 23 and 5 words, 19 and 4 words, 37 and 3, 12 and 2 and 14 and 1 pieces of vocabulary as well as 98 additional pieces of language that don't appear in the JLPT. Which will bring our total learned words through the vocabulary series to 1,168, which is just under 10% of the entire JLPT. In this episode, we are going to be returning to Persona 5 Royale. So it's been an entire year since the first episode uh, with Persona 5, so oh my god, that's a very long time. And we're finally revisiting this amazing game. In this video, we're going to be covering up to the first boss in Persona 5. Now, if you haven't seen any other videos, that's that's totally fine. This video series can be watched as standalone episodes or you can watch them in a long format so that you can learn along and learn all of the words that we have in our tally as we go through uh, all of these games. In this video we're going to be looking through a bunch of different scenes from Persona 5 Royale kind of telling a cohesive story. You're going to get a bunch of Japanese immersion and then I'm going to break down every single sentence for you with a focus on learning the vocabulary words. After that we will then replay the audio one more time so you can get some listening practice. As always, an enormous thank you to all of the supporters on Patreon for keeping this channel alive and well. Thank you so much, guys. And if you want to join us on the Game Gengo Discord community, consider joining us on Patreon. So without further ado, let's get into learning some Japanese with Persona 5 Royale. So the first piece of language we have here is nice tosu, which just means nice toss. <laughs> so we can see that they're playing volleyball here and that's what they're referring to here, the volleyball toss. Nice toss. Yeah, sasuga kamoshida sensei. So next we have a bunch of students high-fiving this sensei and we can see they say ya sasuga kamoshida sensei. So ya is kind of like a wow. Sasuga is something we've already learnt. This means as expected. Kamoshida is the name of this sensei here that we can see in the white shirt. And then sensei is just the Japanese word for a teacher. All language we've learnt in previous episodes. Yeah, sasuga kamoshida sensei. And we have our first piece of new language here. So, first he says, Yosh. That's kind of like an okay, all right, right? Yosh. It's a way of kind of pumping yourself up. Then he says, Mo ippon ikuzo. So, more means one more, more of something. Mo ippon means one more. Ippon. Ippon here is the new word. Now, you may have seen this already as a kind of counter for something, right? So, pon here, this kanji at the end, hon, this can actually be a counter for long cylindrical objects. In this case, it's actually being used as a counter for goals. So, he's saying one more goal, more ippon, ikuzo. Iku means to go, and then zo is kind of a much stronger version of yo, adding emphasis to the sentence. So, all right, let's get one more point. Next we see two students sitting down on the gym floor and they don't look very interested and this guy with blonde hair he says So here the next new word that we're learning is uku. Now we can see that the first definition is to kind of float right uku but it actually means in this context to be merry or to be cheerful so kind of to really get in a good mood right so you can see that they're kind of enjoying themselves that's what he's saying here uite na so it's kind of floating doing <laughs> your your spirits are quite high right you can see that how there's that connection with the word the next new word we have here is aikawarazu this means as usual as always so he's saying that look they're in a very good mood, just like normal. So, he's cheerful, as usual. <laughs> and then he stretches and says, So, is actually the casual version of 
tsumaranai. So tsumaranai is a piece of language used to say that something is boring. If you're bored and you're like, ugh, whatever, that would be tsumaranai. And you will often see it contracted in the casual form. So here we can see what matches is tsuma, but then the ra turns into a n and the nai turns into a ne. <laughs> this is very common in casual Japanese speech and you'll often see this kind of uh, contraction. So we can see that instead of tsumaranai, it's tsumanne. So if you want to sound like a typical anime bored kid, here you go, tsumanne. <laughs> it is a little bit rude though. <laughs> so tsumanne, so boring. <laughs> and then he says na. So this is kind of like a way of getting someone's attention or even asking for confirmation. This is very similar to the ne particle that you might see used at the end of a sentence or even by itself to say, hey. So we can see right here, hey, nah. It's so boring, hey. It's so boring, right? Nah. <laughs> <laughs> And so this Kamoshida sensei teacher guy, he slams this ball and it smacks the student in the face. <laughs> and he doesn't really seem too apologetic about it. He kind of gives off a whatever kind of smug grunt. And then he says, suman. Now this is actually sumanai. It's a very, very kind of masculine casual way of saying sumimasen, just suman. So you can see that even in his language, he's not really being super polite. Um, he's being quite casual. He's just like, ah, oh, my bad, that type of language, suman. Suman? Oi, And then the teacher asks the student if he's okay. Oi, daijoubu ka? So hey, are you okay? Oi, daijoubu ka? Okay. Now for a lot of new words. <laughs> so first he says hoken in. So the first word here is hoken and this is health. Now we can see that it can be preservation of health or something like that. And it's being connected to in. Now this means a committee member. So this hoken in, if you put it together, it's kind of like, you know, the person who takes care of people, right? The kind of infirmary or the, you know, health person. <laughs> Next, he says hokenshitsu tsureteke. So hokenshitsu, here we also see hoken used again, but followed by shitsu. Now, you might be familiar with this. This is for a room. So hokenshitsu, a room for health, as in the school infirmary, as you see in every Japanese video game <laughs> and anime uh, and, you know, in Japanese life, really, you have a school infirmary a place where kids who are injured uh, go to, or where they fake being sick. <laughs> then the last piece of language here is tsureru. Now, this is just to take someone and go somewhere. So it's to kind of bring someone somewhere or to accompany someone somewhere. And it's tsurete ke, which is a contraction of tsurete iku, tsurete ke. It's the imperative form of iku, ike. So bring him to the infirmary, right? So we can see again. Now, again, he's speaking very casually. He's a teacher. Um, and we can already see in both of these exchanges, he's speaking quite casually, perhaps showing his level of genuine care for the student. So health officer, take him to the infirmary. Okay. <laughs> So cutting back to Ryuji and the main character, we can see him say this really interesting expression, ima ni mitokeo. So ima, now, miru is to look. We can see that miru here is in the mite oku form, which is to do something in advance, to look in advance, and then toke, the imperative form. But if we actually put it all together, it's this really interesting expression that says, kind of like, you'll see, you'll pay for this. It shows that you're watching something with a level of disdain and you're going to get revenge for that action, right? So you're looking at something like, ah, I'll get you for that, right? So it's like, I'm looking and I'm going to look in, in advance and you're gonna get payback for that. <laughs> so you better watch out. <laughs> 
And very clearly the teacher doesn't really have any genuine care for the student because as soon as he goes away, he goes back to looking at the game. And here he says, Yosh, shiai saikai da. So yosh, as we know, is a way of going, all right. Now we have two pieces of new language here. Shiai, this is the match. So the match that they were just having right now, the volleyball match, that is a shiai. And then he says saikai. So saikai is the reopening or the kind of restarting of something. Sai is to do again, kai is to open, so saikai to reopen. So let's restart the match. All right, let's resume the game. Okay, so we're outside and now we can see the blonde haired guy Ryuji. He is saying more about this teacher and kind of how he doesn't like him very much. So he starts off by saying, Ano yaro. Ano, that yaro, bastard, that bastard. Genjutsu is a new word here, and this means reality. Now, this might be a little bit confusing to you at this moment because it's kind of skipped a little bit into the story, but I'll explain. Genjutsu means reality, the real life. Genjutsu no gakko. Gakko is a school, so it's the real school. In the Persona world, there is a kind of um, alternate universe where you can go and there's a kind of not real school. <laughs> That's why he's saying this is the real school. He's referring to the real life, the school in real life. So he says, Genjitsu no gakko demo, even in the school in real life, or sama, this is the word for a king. Or is a king, and then sama is an honorific put at the end of something. Or sama is the king of something. You may have already have learnt awe with uh, The Legend of Zelda in the last vocab episode. And then we have one more piece of new language here which is kidori. Now this means to kind of act as something, to put on the airs of something, to behave in a certain way. It's connected to the previous noun, awesama kidori. That means to behave like he's the king. So here if we put it all together we can see that he says that bastard he behaves like he's a king even in the school in real life. And he's referring to the fact that in this other world, his actual persona is a king um, of the school. So we can see that he's saying even in the real world, he's acting like a king. Now it's followed by this te wakeda, and this just shows that this is the reasoning behind something. So he's kind of showing the reasoning for something to be happening. Oh, so it is the case that even in the real world, he's acting like he's the king. <laughs> Now we have another one with a lot of new words here. So the first here we have is Nani ga shinboku da. So shinboku here is talking about friendship. This is something that Kamoshida talked about earlier on before this scene, just saying how friendship is important. <laughs> so he's saying, what the hell are you talking about? Friendship is important. Because look at the way he's acting, right? So, nani ga shinboku da? What the hell do you mean, friendship? Teme ga. Teme is a very rude way of saying you, you bastard. Medatsu tame. So, medatsu is another new word, and this means to stand out. Me is your eye, and then tatsu is to stand up. So it's kind of like standing out, right? You're kind of getting attention. Followed by tame in the kanji, and you can see that it's actually written in kanji uh, in the game as well. You might see tame sometimes written in kanji or hiragana. You can see it used in both ways. And tame here is for the sake of something. So for the sake of standing out, medatsu tame. No one man show. So, one man show, <laughs> the katakana version. This is talking about someone who's only focused on themselves and making themselves look good. For example, if you've been at school and you've seen that kid who always shows off when playing basketball, he always wants to be the one to make the goal and he always pushes away his other teammates, that would be this kind of one man show, right? One man show. And then he says, janeka. And this means, isn't it? So, he says, what the hell are you talking about with friendship? Isn't this just a one-man show for you to stand out?
and he keeps on talking. Now we have a couple of new pieces of language here, so let's go through it bit by bit. So first we have Mishima. Now this is the name of the student that got hit in the face by the volleyball. Uh, that's Mishima, and you can see that he's not a very happy chap. Now, Mishima no koto means about him, and then he says this new word, shimpai suru. So shimpai suru means to worry about something right? To be concerned about someone, to show a level of, oh, I hope they're all right. That's shimpai suru. But it's followed by shimpai suru furishiyagate. So furi suru is another new word, and this means to pretend to do something. So if you're pretending to do something, you would use this furi suru. You can see that it can be used both with the op particle or with the op particle dropped, just like in this sentence. So to pretend like you care about Mishima. Mishima no koto shinpai suru furi shiagate. And the Yagaru is showing disdain for his actions. Mishima no koto shinpai suru furi shiagate. And here he continues with Taibatsu Joto no Kso Kyoshiga. So Taibatsu here is the word for capital punishment. Now, this is referring to someone who punishes someone in a kind of violent physical way. Get out the belt. <laughs> that here is Taibatsu. And Tai is actually for your body, right? Your body. Karada, tai, and then batsu is the punishment. So physical punishment, right? Tai batsu. And this is common even now in some Japanese schools. Uh, you see this kind of hitting uh, when they do something wrong. Then we have Joto. Now, you may have learnt this if you've seen the Final Fantasy VII Remake series uh, where Barrett says Joto da, which means fine, whatever. But in this case, it's actually talking about kind of um, first class, top quality. He's saying that he, he is very much Taibatsu, right? First class Taibatsu, very much physical punishment. No kuso kyoshi. Kuso is a new word here, and this is shit, or literally poo. <laughs> uh, kuso is the word for poo or feces. <laughs> um, it can also be used as an adjective to say very much something like kuso samui, but here it's just shit, <laughs> poo. So kuso kyoshi. Kyoshi is the word for a teacher, but it's more about the teacher's job profession, right? So you know how you could say that sensei also means a teacher? That's more of like a title, like san, sama, chan. Kyoshi is the actual job. I am a kyoshi, right? I work um, at a university kyoshi and I teach on YouTube. I am a kyoshi. Right, um, I'm. I wouldn't call myself a sensei. I'm a sensei. Ugh, that doesn't work. Right. So, I am a kyoshi. Now, here we have kuso kyoshi. That means a shitty teacher. So, a shitty teacher that is first class with physical punishment. So, this shitty teacher who's all about corporal punishment. <laughs> So now we're cutting to a different character that we saw in the cutscene previously, um, the girl with the blonde hair. And as she walks away, two students are kind of talking about her. And they say, Imano, Takamaki Jane. So, Imano is the person that was there just now. Ima now, no is the possessive particle. So it's kind of like, Imano Hito, Imano. The person just now, Takamaki is the name of the girl. And then Jane is, isn't it? So, hey. Wasn't that Takamaki just now? And then the other student says, Kamoshira to tsukiyatteru te uwasa no. So Kamoshira is the name of the shitty teacher we just saw. To is with, and then tsukiyao is a new word here which means to go out with. This is very much dating um, to kind of accompany someone. It can be used both with just accompanying someone, but it can also be used with dating someone. And in this situation, it's definitely talking about dating. So we can see dating with the to particle kamoshida te is short for toyu, and then uasa is the rumor. No again is a possessive particle. So the one that is rumored to be dating kamoshida. Sore that honto really none is kind of none desu ka? Is it that? So is that really true? Sore honto nan? Sore honto 
And then the other student explains here, Isho ni kuruma ni notte ta rashize. So Isho ni, together, kuruma, here is a new word and this means a car. Kuruma ni, so in the car, noru, here is to ride. So to ride in the car, kuruma ni noru, densha ni noru, to ride in the car. So kuruma ni notte ta rashi. So notte ta? did drive in or did have a ride in. Rashi here is kind of secondhand knowledge, something that you heard from somewhere. So apparently she was riding together in his car. And then Ze is kind of like a masculine <laughs> yo again. So it's like, I heard she rode in his car with him, you know? <laughs> this other student says, Nanka takamaki te sa. Karuso janeka. So nanka is kind of like like. <laughs> nanka takamaki. So you know takamaki. Te sa te is talking about. Sa is a way of kind of getting someone's attention. Like hey, you know. So that takamaki. Hey, karuso janeka. So karui here is the word to be light. When something's light, it's karui. But he's saying, isn't she kind of light? What this actually means is, isn't she kind of easy, right? So he's suggesting that Takamaki kind of sleeps around, right? So she's easy. And that here is this interesting use of karui to say that someone is easy to get with. So karuso jane is doesn't she seem like she's easy? And then he finishes off with this really interesting piece of language. He says, ore demo ikeru kana. So ore ni demo even, but Ikeru here is really interesting. So this actually comes from Iku to go, but it's used in this situation to actually say, maybe I would be able to, maybe I would be able to go smoothly. Maybe I would even be able to get with Takamaki. So he's referring to the fact that maybe he even has a shot at her because she's very karui. So kamoshida no onna, his girl, Kamoshida's girl, wa as for her, mazui means bad, no good, and then sho here is slang for desho, so right. So it's bad to go after Kamoshida's girl, right? So now we're in a quite nice looking little cafe here, and we see the blonde girl that we saw previously uh, in both previous two scenes and here she's talking with the main character and here she says uasa kurai shiteru yo ne so uasa is the rumor that we were just talking about kurai is at least shiteru or shiteru this means that you're knowing something you know something yo ne is a way of kind of getting confirmation so you know about the rumor right the rumor that the guys were just talking about uasa kurai shiteru yo ne and so she explains that here with Kamoshira Sensei to no koto. So Kamoshira Sensei to with him no koto about. So about being with him. Kamoshira Sensei to no koto. Watashi to dekiteru te minna itteru. Watashi to dekiteru te minna itteru. Now this is a really interesting piece of language in this sentence here. So watashi to with me, and then we have dekiteru. Now, you may feel like you already know this language. We have already learned that dekiru means to be able to do something. But in this context, very, very interestingly, it actually means to be involved with someone romantically, as in. <laughs> and so here, dekiteru means to be involved with watashi to, with me. Te is quoting what they're saying, minna iteru, everyone is saying. So everyone's saying that he's sleeping with me. Kedo, however, Annayatsu, that kind of guy, taught with Sonnawake? No way. So, as if I would do such a thing with a guy like that. Kedo, Annayatsu to Sonnawake. Kamoshida kara denwa kakatte kitano. And so she explains, Kamoshida kara denwa kakatte kitano. So, Kamoshida kara is showing from Kamoshida. Denwa, you may already know, it means phone, to call someone, literally the noun for <laughs> a phone is denwa. 
but here we can see it used in its verb form. So if you're saying you want to call someone, that's denwa kakaru. Here it's denwa kakatte kita. So come to call from kamoshida. So we can see that kamoshida is the one who's called. And then followed by the no particle to give that little bit of explanation, that's slightly feminine. So I got a call from kamoshida. Kamoshida kara denwa kakatte kita no. So we have two pieces of new language here in this sentence. First, we have bango o shiero. Bango here is number. Now, this is literally what you call numbers is bango. But here it's actually referring to her phone number. Just like we would say in English, you know, give me your number. Same thing, bango o shiero. Tell me, teach me your number. Te. So now we're quoting what's being said. Iware temo. So even if um, I was told, gomakashite kita no ni. So I was deceived. Gomakasu here is to deceive someone, to trick someone. So here, putting it all together, he asked me for my number and I gave it to him, but I just. So she's showing that you know she was deceived by him. Bango oshiero te iware temo gomakashite kita no ni. So, Korekara means from now. Kamoshira no heya. Heya is a new word here, and this means a room or even an apartment. Uh, if you think about Final Fantasy VII, Cloud has his little room. That's a heya. <laughs> right now, I'm in a room. That's a heya. Probably you are as well. So, Kamoshira no heya to his room ni koi. Koi is the imperative form of kuru. Kuru to come. Koi is telling someone to come. So come on here, get to my room. Te is quoting what he said. And then the sa is kind of this emphatic way um, of kind of saying like, he said this, you know, or like kind of adding that little bit of emphasis to it. This is a little bit of a slang use of language, but young people, especially young girls, I notice use this sa a lot as kind of a way of like getting your attention, ano sa. So she's saying, you know, he said to come to his room right away. So, tsumari here, we can see used in kanji. Uh, it's not used in kanji in the game, but if you would like to learn, there you are. <laughs> um, but tsumari is a really nice, neat piece of language here that just says in short, right? So that's a new piece of language here. And when you're just kind of, kind of summarizing something, you're like, okay, in short, or put in other words, or in summary, you would say tsumaru, right? That's literally doing this to push it together. So, in other words, tsumari souyu koto, that kind of thing. So she's referring to, you know, the doing of the love. <laughs> uh, so, in other words, that kind of thing, you know, come to his room to do that. Tsumari souyu koto. So, kotowaru here is a new piece of language, and this is to refuse, to say no to, right? If someone offers you something and you say, no, I don't want it, <laughs> you, you are doing the action of kotowaru, you are refusing. Here it's in the hypothetical form, if I refuse or when I refuse, so, kotowatara watashi no tomodachi. Watashi mi tomodachi is my friend. So, if I refuse my friend, da da da. Koto atara watashi no tomodachi. Shiho o regular kara hazusutte. Shiho o regular kara hazusutte. So, shiho, that's the friend of the girl. No regular. Regular here is kind of a regular player of a sport or a team, right? So, the regular on the team. Kara, from being a regular, hazusu. That means remove. Te. That's what he said. So he's clearly blackmailing this girl to be with him, to come to his apartment room. Otherwise, he'll kick her best friend off the team. So, shiho no tame for the sake of her friend, da is, and then te is quoting, ikikasete kita. So here is a new piece of language, ikikaseru, and this means to persuade. So she's been trying to persuade herself that it's for the sake of her friend. 
志保のためだって言い聞かせてきたけどこれ以上はもう無理これ以上はもう無理 So これ以上 more than this は as for more already 無理 Now 無理 means no good Right? It can mean to be excessive, it can mean to be bad. Here it means that it's just she's had enough. More moody, moody. She cannot do it anymore. No more. She can't stand it. So, any more than this, she can't do it. I can't do this anymore. Anna Yatsu no i n a r i t o k a mo muri da yo. So, anna yatsu, that kind of guy, no i n a r i This is a new piece of language, and this is as someone says. So, to do as he says, to just let him do whatever he wants, to just let him control me however he wants, kare no i n a r i you know, as he says. So, as he says, toka, mo muri da yo. I can't do it anymore, mo, I've had enough. So, this is saying that, look, I've just had enough. Can't do it anymore. So, this is a quite interesting piece of interaction because she's not being completely clear on what happened, but it does look like something happened because she says more moody. That means she can't put up with it anymore. That means she did put up with it at some point. So, it does look like something has happened、uh, to this girl here by the creepy PE teacher. <laughs> Kedo, daijina tomodachina no. So, kedo, however, daijina, this is a way of saying that something is important. It's a na adjective and it's modifying tomodachi. So, a important, a precious friend. Daijina tomodachi. So, but she's my dear friend. Kedo, daijina tomodachina no. Date, watashi ni wa shiho dake shika inai kara. だって私にはしほだけしかいないから。So, だって after all, that's because 私には as for in me or as for with me, しほだけ only しほしかいない means nothing but and then から is explaining. So, if we put it all together, it's kind of like saying, but しほ is all I have. So, だって私にはしほだけしかいないから。私どうしたらいい Watashi, do s h t a r a i So, watashi, me, do s u r u how should I do it? And then, tara i is kind of like, what should I do? What would be good to do, right? What should I do? Do s h t a r a i Watashi, do s h t a r a i Gomen, wakanai yo ne. Kona hanashi. And then she says, Gomen, wakanai yo ne. So, gomen is a new word somehow, <laughs> and it means sorry. So, when you say, ah, gomen, it's just sorry. This is a little bit more polite than we saw previously with suman.、Uh, gomen is still casual, but it's not quite as rude、uh, or masculine or, or super casual.、Um, gomen is something you would use among friends, right? Ah, gomen. Or you could say, gomen nasai to be a little bit more polite. So she says, I'm sorry, wakan na yo ne, you don't understand, right? Kon na hanashi, this kind of talk, right? This kind of thing. So she's saying, Look,、uh, I'm sorry, you don't get it, I, I understand. Gomen, wakan na yo ne, kon na hanashi. Okay, so now we're a little bit more in the future and we're in this second world that I mentioned before previously. And so here, An has been captured.、Uh, the girl that we just saw talking, her name is An. She's just been captured and she says, no kore. So, what the hell is this? So, maji there is a kind of slang way of saying seriously. This is really, really common. You'll see it used everywhere. Maji de, maji de yabai, maji de. So, seriously, keisatsu is the word for police. Yobu is to call. And then kara is explaining. So, I'll seriously call the police. Maji de, keisatsu yobu kara. Maji de, keisatsu yobu kara. So, it's not shin yu shaka. 
And now we see the alter ego of Kamoshida here uh, in this second world, and he says, Soitsu ga Shinyu Shaka. So, Soitsu, that guy, ga Shinyu Sha. So, you are the Shinyu Sha. You are the intruder. Huh? Ka. So in this situation right now, the two main characters know about this second world, but Ahn doesn't. So she's taken by surprise when she sees Kamoshida and she's like, huh? Kamoshida? Kamoshida? And then we have Dare Soitsu. Who the hell is that? So Dare is who, and then Soitsu is that person over there. Now we've learned Dare in lots of different ways, like Dare Ka or Dare Demo, <laughs> but here just Dare by itself is who. Then we have Teka. Koko nani? So Teka is a very interesting piece of language that's short for Toyuka, which is kind of like saying like, I mean, right? It's like rephrasing what you're saying. So teka is the really short version of that. So, I mean, or perhaps I should say, koko nani? What is this place? Nande gakko ga konna ni natten no? So, nande, why, gakko, the school, ga konna ni natten no? So, why has it become this way? So why has the school become this way? So as I said previously, this is the kind of second world and it's kind of like a kind of inside the mentality um, of someone. And, and here we're inside the perverted mentality of this PE teacher. So this is this second world for him. Okay, now we have another new word. And so here, uh, Kamoshida says, so, konna no, so referring to this person, or, so doing something with that person, ore no an, so my an. So here he's talking about the an that exists in his own mind, not the real an, but this kind of fictionalized version in his mind, to with machigao. So this is the next new word that we have here, and this means to be mistaken. So chigao means different, and machigao is to be mistaken. So you've kind of been mistaken or something, ah, machigate, right? Here, he's mistaken this girl for his an. Toana is now talking about to think that. So to think that I mistook this one for my an. <laughs> <laughs> so, obieru here is to be frightened. So, here we can see that she's quite clearly frightened, and he's kind of saying, Ha ha, are you frightened? Obieteru no ka. <laughs> here, An is kind of reacting to Kamoshida's outfit here in this weird second world, and she says, Sono kakko, shoki? So, kakko here is one's appearance, right? My kakko right now is this kind of black <laughs> shirt, um, and his kakko right now is the weird red cape with the hat and the pink underwear. <laughs> so, sono kakko, that appearance, shoki, are you sane? So, shoki here is kind of to show sanity, to show kind of clarity in one's actions and thoughts. So. Are you sane? Like, uh, are you all right in the head <laughs> wearing that kind of outfit? So here we see sono kakko shoki, that appearance. Are you sane? Sono kakko shoki. Iいいんだよ. So e is good, nda it is that, and then yo is kind of putting emphasis on that sentence. So he here, he's reassuring or he's saying that this is fine, right? So indayo is like, he's explaining that it's okay. It's it's okay that he looks this way. Koko ga ore sama no shiro. So there's one new piece of language here, which is ore sama. Koko wa as for here, but ore sama. Ore we know is me. Now we learned previously that sama with o sama for king is an honorific. You are not supposed to use honorifics with yourself. 
If you do, you'll appear very, very cocky and self-absorbed, putting yourself up. You can't do that. So that's what he's doing right here. Ore-sama. It's a very arrogant way of referring to oneself. Ore-sama no shiro. This is my castle. Yokubo no sekai nan da kara na. And so here he's explaining why it's okay because Yokubo here is desire. This is a big theme for this episode. Yokubo no Sekai. That is the name of this world that we're in, this second world for Kamoshida. This is his world of desire and perversion. Yokubo no Sekai nanda kara. So he's explaining it is because this is the world of desires. <laughs> What the hell is that? So, this is an interesting piece of language that you won't learn in the textbooks. So, konna no, this kind of place. And then we have fuzoku. So, this is uh, the word in Japanese to refer to a kind of brothel or a sex establishment. Uh, there are many places, even though it's not technically legal uh, in Japan, um, that is under this term of fuzoku, and this is any kind of kind of sexual service or industry. So she's referring to this place. It looks pretty perverted. She's saying, "Is this place some kind of brothel or something?" So that's what she's saying here. Konna no fuzoku toka teyatsu desho. So toka is something like teyatsu is a thing like desho is right. So. It's the thing like a brothel, right? Kamoshida doesn't answer her. Instead, he says, So, Iki here is, we can see with the kanji, is used to show a liveliness towards something, someone full of vigor and life. So, Iki no i is the same as Iki ga i, means you have a lot of vigor. E is good, or in this case, you have a good amount of vigor, you have a good amount of liveliness, you're quite lively. Iki no i dore da. Dore is a slave. And so for Kamoshida, everyone is kind of his slave in his mentality, in the way he thinks. So he's referring to her here as his slave. Iki no i dore da. And then An replies with Share ni natte naite no. So, Share here is an interesting piece of language. So, you may have heard the word Oshare, and this means to be quite、uh, nice. Your, your clothes are quite、uh, fancy and cool and stylish. But here, just Share by itself actually refers to kind of a joke or a jest. So, here, Share ni natte nai means that this is not a joke. Like, This isn't funny. And she's had enough here and she says, Fuzaken na kamoshida. So, this is a very anime type word. You won't use this piece of language in real life unless you're wanting to start a fight with someone. But, Fuzakeru here is to mess around or to F around.、Uh, it's, you know, here really showing to kind of don't mess around. Fuzaken na. <laughs> very, very strong.、Um, you will often see this with、um, any kind of fight. That's happening, like Yakuza, you might hear someone be like, <laughs> This is a very, very common piece of language seen in media to tell someone to stop messing about, but you might not use it <laughs> in real life unless you're joking around or if you're wanting to start a fight. <laughs> So we can see that fuzakeru and then it's fuzaken na. Again, we see the ru getting contracted into the n. Fuzaken na is saying don't. So don't screw around. And you can see here that Kamoshida is kind of looking at An like she doesn't really. Exist or she doesn't really matter. He's just like, ha ha ha. He's very, very high above. Ore sama ni iken shite ru zo, doumo. So here he's referring to his slave An that's in his mind, his, his own version of An. And ore sama ni, so to me, iken shite ru. Now, iken is your opinion. Iken suru is to be giving your opinion. So she's giving her opinion to him. And then he asks this. 
fake Arn. He says, Dormo, what do you think about it? So it's almost like he's just ignoring everything Arn's actually saying, but he's just kind of laughing at it, looking down like, <laughs> she's giving me her opinion about me. So what do you think? <laughs> And the fake aunt here, she says, Kuchigotae nante yurushcha dame. So, Kuchigotae here is a new piece of language, and this is back talk. When you talk back at someone, when someone says something and you're not supposed to talk back, <laughs> that here is this Kuchigotae. Nante, such a thing as yurushcha dame, yurusu is to forgive, cha dame is no good. So you can't forgive. So you can't forgive back talk. And so Kamoshida says, Toyuake de shoke dana. So Toyuake means so that means Toyu, this kind of thing, wake the reasoning. De with so with that kind of reasoning, that means shoke. That is the death penalty. Execution. So which means I guess execution, huh? <laughs> and so now he's looking at An like he's going to be messing around with her, and he says, Do yate asobo kana. So, doyate in what way? And then we have this new language here, asobu. Now, this is a really important piece of language um, that often many Japanese people get really confused with when they are speaking in English. So, asobu can mean to play like a game or a sport, to hang out with, like to meet up with friends, and also to tease someone, to kind of, you know, to play with someone. Now, this gets really confusing for Japanese speakers because asobu in Japanese, when you translate it, it says play, but in English, you don't really say you play with your friends. <laughs> if you say that, it sounds a little bit weird. Um, so if you ever hear someone a Japanese say, oh, I'm just playing with my friends, just know that they're trying to use the word asobu and they don't know the word hang out yet. <laughs> but here, Kamoshida is saying, how should I play with you? Very much play. <laughs> So, bada bada is like to put into bits and pieces, right, all over the place. We can see here scattered in pieces, in drops. And then, bada bada ni, so to do something in bits and pieces, kaitai is to dismantle, to take apart. So, should I take you apart, bit by bit? Bada bada ni kaitai shi cha okka. Maji no. Now, An's not believing what's happening and she says, Maji nano? So again, this maji, but it's kind of seriously, really? And the nano is the question. So are you serious? Is this really happening? Maji nano? Maji nano. So now we're cutting back to Ryuji and the main character, and we're seeing more of this perverted teacher's subconsciousness. And we can see that he's looking, this is how he looks at all of the schoolgirls, right? And so here, Ryuji says, Hide. So, hide is just the slang way of hidoi. Hidoi means uh, kind of cruel, bad, uh, severe, um, not good, right? So, this is kind of really not good. Oh, hidoi, this is bad, right? Ugh. And so he's saying, hide, this is horrible. Hide. Buin no joshi no kotomo. So we have two new pieces of language here. Bu in. Bu is kind of the department. In we've already seen is the member. So the member of the club. <laughs> the club member. Bu in is a club member. No Joshi. Joshi is the young girl, right? So um, it's the onna kanji for woman. And then she or ko is for child. So Joshi here is the young girl. So he's saying that the club girls Buin no joshi no koto mo. So about them also. So he's saying that it's not just An, it's all of the girls that he's looking at like this. And Ryuji is really disgusted by this and he says, Konna fu ni mite yagatta no kayo. 
So, konna funi in this way, mite yagaru is to show disdain towards his action, miru is to look, so how dare he look? No ka is a question. So, is this how he's freaking looking at them? That kind of thing. Oi, are. Hey, that's. Oi, are. And Kamoshida is disappointed uh, that they've arrived and he says, Kore kara o tanoshimite toki ni. So, Kore kara from now, o tanoshimi. So, tanoshimi is to enjoy something, to look forward to something. And so here it hits. O tanoshimi te toki, so the time of his enjoyment, the time of his pleasure. So he's saying, ah, oh, from now you guys come right when I'm about to enjoy myself. Again, questioning, what the hell is this guy? You bastard. Nankai kurundayo. So, nankai is the next new word that we have here, and this means how many times. Nan is the question, kai is the interval of time. How many times? Nankai kuru. How many times do you come? Ndayo is kind of like almost an annoyed way of asking a question. How many times do you have to keep on coming back? Nankai kurundayo. And so he says, Dose, which means at any rate. So, in any case, at any rate, Dose, Omae mo, you also, Soko no, those Zokudomo. Zoku is kind of a thief, a bandit, right? Um, if you have played Fire Emblem, <laughs> uh, the bandits that come from the hills, they're Zoku. So, Zokudomo, these bandits, to. So he's saying that at any rate, you're just the same as those bandits, aren't you? So, oresama, me, ni, monku means a complaint, ga aru, you have a complaint, ga atte, so it's kind of a an action in the middle of a sentence. This is like having a comma, this te form. Monku ga atte kitanda yo na. So you had a complaint and you came here, right? So kind of like you're here to complain to me, aren't you? Kedo eto namae wasureta kedo. Kedo, however, eto is kind of a way of showing uh, your thinking. Beginner Japanese students use this word way too much. Eto, eto. <laughs> uh, but here he's thinking, uh, namae, the name wasureta, I forgot. So, but uh, her name I forgot, but aitsu tobi orita no omae no se da kara na. So, Aitsu, that person, here we're referring to um, the friend, Shiho. Tobi Orita, so in the previous scene that we couldn't cover in this episode, um, but she actually kind of tried to commit suicide. So, Tobi Orita no, so Tobi Oriru is to jump off. Tobi is to jump, Oriru is to go down, so to jump off. She jumped off a building. So, Tobi Orita no omae no se, omae no se, your fault, dakara na. That's because, right? So it's like, it's your fault she jumped. And now he explains why he thinks it's her fault. So, omae means you, aite suru is to be someone's partner. Now, this could be just to group up with someone, but we already know in this context we're talking about partner in the bedroom. <laughs> so, aite shite kurenai kara, because you didn't be with me. Ah, so it looks like previously we saw that something happened with Kamoshida and An. So we can see here in this interaction that it probably wasn't all the way because he was disappointed that she wouldn't be with him. Kawari shite moratan da yo. 
So, kawari suru or just kawari here is the word to have a replacement, an exchange, a substitute. So, kawari shite morao. Morao is to receive. Te morao is to have someone do. So, he had shiho as a replacement for an. So, I had her instead. <laughs> and An doesn't like that at all, and she says, So, we have the same fuzakeru to mess around. This time, instead of fuzakeruna or fuzakenna, it's just fuzakenaide. So, it's in the naide form. Similar way of saying don't do it. <laughs> Yamero! Stop it! Yamero! Sore ijo goitara soku korosu. So, sore ijo. Sore that ijo more than. Ugoitara, if you move or when you move, soku, that's instantly korosu. I'll kill. So he's saying, if you move any further, I will kill her immediately. Sore ijo ugoitara. So, damn it. Omaira mo mite ikeo, kaitai sho. So, omaira mo, you guys as well, mite ikeo. So, watch. We can see here, miru to see is using this kanji. This is when you're watching something. It's using this kanji instead. And then we have kaitai sho. So kaitai, as we already know, is the dismemberment, taking apart. And then sho is the show. So you guys should watch the dismemberment show. Yada, yamete. No, stop. And so the perverted PE teacher says, Mazu wa fuku kara barashichau kana? So, mazu wa means first up. Mazu is first, mazu wa is just a little bit more of a stronger way of saying that. So, as for first things first, fuku kara. Fuku is your clothes, kara is from. So, to start things off, fuku kara, from your clothes, barashichau kana? So, barasu here is to remove, to expose. Shichao kana is, I guess I will. So if we put it all together, it's kind of like, let's start with the clothes, shall we? Clearly a pretty creepy dude. And so the An in his subconscious is very sexual and she says, Yada sensei. So this is another really interesting sentence that has some language that you won't learn in a traditional textbook. So yada is obviously, ew, stop it. Sensei is just a long way of saying sensei. This next last part here, do ero sugi. So there are three parts here in this um, piece of language. Do is a new word, and this means like really. This is slang to say something is very much something, like extremely something. Ero or eroi means erotic, right? This is a very, 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 very common word. Um, when you're wanting to say something is kind of sexy or erotic, eroi is the word you, you use. And then we have sugiru, meaning too much. So do ero sugi means that it is way too sexy. So she's like, stop sensei, that's too erotic to start from the clothes. So, okay, we're learning a whole bunch of different uh, kind of more sexual themes uh, in this video. Hey, what are we supposed to do? So, kore, this, and then again we see that sa that I mentioned previously where she's kind of like getting confirmation or getting someone's attention. Kore sa, this, hey, this. 
Tenbatsu is a new word, and this means kind of heavenly punishment. So this almost looks like Shiho no, she thinks Shiho is dead from the suicide, and she is punishing her from the grave. Now, an interesting thing here is Tenbatsu. We've already learned Taibatsu, and that was with the body kanji coming first, and now we have it with the ten kanji coming first, which is for heaven. So before it was physical punishment, taibatsu, and now it is divine punishment, tenbatsu. <laughs> then the creepy guy, he enjoys the fact that she looks like this, and he says, Saisho kara soyu kao shiteriya so, saisho kara means from the beginning. Saisho is the very, very beginning. Saisho kara, soyu kao. Soyu, that kind of kao, face or look. Shiteriai means you should be like that or you should have done that. So he's saying, you should have looked like this from the start. Eh, creepy. Saisho kara, soyu kao, shiteriai in da yo. Shiho. Shiho, gomen. Shiho, I'm sorry. Shiho, gomen. Yurusu tsumori ka? Are you going to forgive him? So, yurusu to forgive tsumori means to intend to and then cause a question. Are you intending to forgive him? Yurusu tsumori ka? So da yo ne. So da yo ne. You're right. So, soda, that is the case. Your ne is kind of like, yeah. So, yeah, you're right. So, we have two pieces of new language here. Konna kuzu. Kuzu is trash. So, if you want to call someone trash, <laughs> kuzu is the word that you use. Scum, trash, garbage, a loser. That is kuzu. So a loser like this, konna kuzu ni iwareru ga mama. Now this is another new language. So iwareru is to be said, and then ga mama is kind of showing as someone says. So as someone says, iwareru ga mama, doing as one is told. Nante such a thing as. And so she says, I can't believe I let this piece of shit <laughs> tell me what to do. This trash kuzu. <laughs> so this is I was out of my mind. So doka suru means you kind of you're not sure how everything's going. Doka shiteta means you were confused. You were out of your mind. <laughs> So, dakara, that's why, dore, the slaves, wa, as for, otonashiku. So, otonashi here is another new word, and this means to be obedient, meek, submissive. Um, so, here he's saying slaves should be obedient, or slaves should obediently. Dakara yo, dore wa otonashiku. Urusai! Urusai! Shut up! <laughs> so, urusai is another new word here, and this means, it can mean that someone's being very noisy, but here it's telling someone to stop being noisy, to shut up. It can even be used to say that someone's kind of troublesome and really kind of picky, um, but here it's just saying, shut up, urusai, shut up. Urusai! Mou ne, muri. Maji de mukatsuki sugite. Mou ne, muri. So again, we see this language, more already, muri, I've had enough, so I can't do this anymore. Maji de mukatsuki sugite. So maji de, again, seriously, and then we have this new word here, which is mukatsuku. So this is to just get really angry, oh, I'm so angry. <laughs> that is mukatsuku. So sugiru is to do too much, so here she's saying, I'm seriously so pissed off. More ne, muri. So, ka, something in some way, 
it seems like I'm going to become. So it seems like I'm going to be, something's going to happen. So I feel like something's about to happen. So we have three new pieces of language here. The first one is mataku. Now, this can be to completely do something, but right here, mataku just used by itself is actually like good grief. Jeez. It's showing a little bit of complaint towards something. So come on, jeez, mataku. Deban, this is another piece of language we've learnt already in the Final Fantasy VII series, but this is your appearance on stage, right? Um, de is to come out, ban is turn, so it's your turn to come out, right? So my debut, that's how I've translated it. So deban ga oso sugiru. Osoi is to be slow. Oso sugiru, put it together with what we've already learnt in this video, too slow. So oso sugiru no yo. My debut is too slow. So here's saying that this should have happened much, much earlier. So, geez, my debut is way too late. <laughs> so this is An's persona talking. This is kind of her inner power, her inner guardian angel type thing. Uh, so here, he, um, the, the, the persona is saying, Omae ga tachimukawanai de, dare ga urami o harashite kureru no. So, Omae, you, ga, tachimukao is to stand up against. So, to say no, to confront something. Tachimukawanai de, without standing against, without confronting, dare ga, who will, urami o. So, Urami, uh, we've actually learnt in the first episode of Persona, uh, although I think I had a spelling mistake, <laughs> please forgive me. Um, but Urami here is your grudge. So Urami or Harasu, now we've actually learnt this in the recent verb video, Harasu is to clear, to get rid of something. So to get rid of your grudge, to settle your grudge. So put it all together, if you don't stand up to him, who is going to settle your grudge? So, yurusu we know means to forgive. Ki is to intend. Nante, such a thing as. So, such a thing as the intentions to forgive. Hajime is the beginning. Kara, from that beginning, nakata. It didn't exist. What didn't exist? The intention to forgive. So such a thing as forgiveness. We never had it from the start. So, omae no naka, inside you, no mo hitori. Now, we know more means another or already. Here, it's connected to hitori, one person. Mo hitori, one more. Mo ipon, one more point. Mo hitori, one more person. Mo hitori no omae. So, this is a kind of confusing sentence for beginners, but if you put it together, inside you, omae no naka, mo hitori no omae, another you ga so sakenderu. That means they are screaming or yelling in that way. So showing that there is this persona inside arm that is screaming, we never have such a thing as forgiveness. And here we have one of the trademark pieces of language that's found uh, in a persona game that usually trips up beginners. We have ware wa nanji, nanji wa ware. So, this is archaic speech. Ware means I. It's kind of a pronoun to talk about myself, like ore, boku, watashi, but it's just a more older way of saying it. So, I am, as for me, ware wa nanji. Nanji, as we've actually learnt in uh, the Shimagami Tensei video that I released uh, about a month or so ago. If you haven't already seen that video, I really recommend checking it out. It was a real fun one to make. I cover Sh Shimagami Tensei, but I also cover a whole bunch of other games and really go in depth teaching these pieces of language so you really get a strong connection with how it's used. Anyway, so right here we have Ware, I, and Nanji 
you in a kind of archaic way. Now, in English, we do have things like the Bible, which actually have this language. And so something like thou is a really nice translation for Nanji because it's the same kind of use. It's usually used with gods and demons and stuff like that. So it's just like the Bible. Thou, Nanji. So I am thee, thou art I. Yato keaku musuberu ne. So we have three pieces of new language here. Yato means finally, like oh yato. So finally, keaku keaku is like a contract, right? So we're talking here about the contract between、uh, one's self and one's inner persona, right? This contract to kind of join together forces. Yato keaku musuberu. So musubu means to join.、Um, this is a very common thing in、uh, Japanese tradition.、Uh, when you go to like shrines, there are shrines all about musubi, right? To to join together, like join together in marriage. Here, it's to bind together, to join together in the keiaku, in the contract. So finally, the contract is complete. So, kikoeru means to be able to hear. Kiku to hear, kikoeru to be able to hear. So, I can hear you, karumen. So, the name of this persona is karumen. Wakata, mo gaman shinai. So, wakata, I got it. More, no longer, because it's connected to the nai form. More, gaman shinai. So, gaman is a piece of language used in Japanese to say to kind of persevere, to endure, to put up with something, right? So, it's often used in Japanese culture where it's just like you just got to keep your head down and just keep, keep doing it. Don't look around. Don't ask questions. Just gaman, right? And she is saying more gaman shinai. I'm not going to hold back anymore. I'm not going to persevere. I'm not going to put up with it anymore. So, yo, gaman nanka shiteite mo nani mo kaiketsu dekinai. This is a really good advice here from、uh, the persona that I wish more people here would take. <laughs>、um, so, yo, that is right. Gaman. To persevere, nanka things like shiteite mo even if you do nani mo nothing kaiketsu deki nai. So these two pieces of new language that we have is nani mo. So nani mo when used with a negative verb, it means nothing at all, nothing at all. So what can't we do? Nothing at all. Kaiketsu deki nai. We can't settle anything at all. Kaiketsu is a really cool word. It means to kind of resolve something, to settle something. If you have a problem, if you have a dispute, kaiketsu suru. And so the persona Carmen is giving some really good advice. You can't resolve anything if you don't try and change it. If you just put up with it, nothing's going to change. <laughs> Japanese society. <laughs> Wakata no nara, chikaro kashite ageru. So, wakata no nara, if it is that you understand, chikara is a strength, o kashite ageru. Kasu here is to lend. So, here, chikara o kashite is to lend your help, lend your strength. Ageru is to do for someone. So, if you understand, I can lend you my strength. Wakata no nara, chikara o kashite ageru. So, very cool. She's now finally standing up for herself. And she here she says, Watashi, I, 
Anta nanka like you skini dekiru hodo as much as you want oyasui onna janai. So oyasui means kind of cheap, right? Easy. So oyasui onna means a, a easy girl, a cheap girl, a girl that's easy to get. Janai kara because I'm not. So she's saying I'm not such a cheap girl that you can do whatever you want with me. <laughs> and Kamoshida says, Koitsu. So Koitsu means this guy, literally. I like to have translated this as kind of like, you bitch. <laughs> um, because it's kind of showing, he's talking about her in a kind of derogatory way. Koitsu, this guy, this bitch. <laughs> so, Shiho kara from Shiho, subete, everything, ubatte, to steal. Ubao is to steal, to take away, to snatch away. Fumi ni jiru. Now, this is the one new word that we've learned here. So, fumu is to step. Fumi ni jiru is to kind of trample on. So, you've kind of just stepped all over someone, right? Fumi ni jitta, anta wa yurusanai. I won't forgive you. So, really cool, she's getting all of her power and she's standing up finally, she's not doing the gaman, she's actually doing some fighting, she says, you took everything from Shiho and trampled on her, I'll never forgive you. Anta no subete o ubatte yaru. Okay, <laughs> so anta, you no subete, everything about you o ubatte yaru. I will take it all away. So yaru is just like ageru, but a little bit more casual. So I'm just gonna take away everything from you. Anta no subete o ubatte yaru. Kore ijou. So the guards are trying to stop her and they say, Kore ijo, ski kate na mane wa sasen. So, kore ijo, more than this. Ski kate. So, ski means like, and then kate is kind of selfishly however you want. So, however you like, right? Ski kate. Ski kate na mane. So, mane is kind of your behavior, your way of doing something, right? So, they're saying that. I will not allow, sasen, sasenai, won't allow you to behave however you want. Ski katena mane. So, we aren't gonna let you do whatever you want. More gaman wa shinai teno. So, more gaman shinai, I'm not gonna put it up any longer, teno. I said. So, I said, I'm not gonna put up with it anymore. <laughs> I like this sentence. It's a little bit tricky, but it's cool. So, yaru, to do how you like. But, have a look at this conjugation. <laughs> okay, let's take it apart. So, yaraseru, to let someone or to make someone do something. Morao is to receive. So, we've already learned that temorao is to receive an action. So, I will receive you letting me do how I want. That is this sentence right here. A little bit complicated, um, but skini yarasete morao da kara. I don't care. I'm going to make you let me do what I want. <laughs> Let's go, Carmen. Go, go, let's go, Kamoshida. <laughs> uh, so here they're kind of chanting. Go, go, let's go, Kamoshida. So, the first word we have is kore dake. Now, kore is this, dake is only, only this. So, really, this only 
right? This is the one thing. Wa dare ni mo. So to no one. We can see with the more with something with the negative form verb following, we can see that it's a negative. So not to anyone. Watasan. So watasu is to hand over, right? And watasan, casual form of watasanai. So I will not hand it over to anyone. This only. Saying that this is the one thing that's important to me. This is the one thing that I won't hand over to anyone. So, kore wa, referring to the thing that he doesn't want to hand over, the kore sama ga joshu. So, jo is the castle and then shu is the master. So, the lord of the castle. Joshu de aru. So, de aru is the literary way of saying des. So, it's to be shome, the proof. The proof that he is the master of the castle. Joshu de aru shome. Kono sekai no koa. Koa here is the core, like the heart, the core, the center. So that, that is the most important thing to him. That is his proof that he's the lord of this castle. It's the core of this world. That guy. So here, An is seeing finally that the way Kamoshida is looking at her, she can see the sexy counterpart in, in Kamoshida's mind, and he's like, So that's how you look at me, right? Watashi no koto about me, Anna Funi in that way, miteru looking, te koto, that means yone, right? So this means you're looking at me like that, huh? <laughs> this is cool. So, uh, Ryoji says, Yo, hentai, machibuse kayo. So, yo is like, hey. Hentai here is uh, the word that would best describe this Kamoshida. <laughs> um, hentai is a pervert. Now, you probably have heard of this word already. Most people know this, even if they don't know Japanese. Uh, hentai for being the um, the, the Japanese uh, cartoon adult uh, material. <laughs> um, but it actually just means a pervert. Uh, it means to be perverted, and that's where it comes from. Um, so it, it actually comes from being a little bit abnormal. That's the origins of the word. And then it got being used to someone to be kind of sexually abnormal, as in being perverted. Uh, and that's where it then came connected to hentai <laughs> so he's calling um kamoshida a hentai um here he's calling him a pervert and then he says machibuse kayo now we've already learnt this word machibuse is to hide in wait uh, i think it was berserk that we saw it maybe i can't remember but machibuse is to kind of ambush lie in wait so hey perv lying in wait for us huh yo hentai machibuse kayo so, there is quite a lot of new language here. Sagasu, that's to search for something. Now here, uh, it's to kind of look for something that you're desiring. We can see that in the uh, definitions up above, there are two different ways that you can use it, and there's two different kanjis that you might see used. Here, it's the first one to look for something that you desire. Sagasu tema is time and labor. It's kind of like uh, the, the, the efforts that something takes, right? So for example, to make this video, I've been working non-stop for like a week, right? Tema ga kakaru. It takes time and effort. So, sagasu tema, the effort to search, or habuite yatta. And so habuku here is to eliminate, to cut down on, right? To reduce, to save. So he's saving the time that it takes to look for you. Sagasu tema o habuite yatta dakeda. I just saved myself the trouble of looking for you. So, 
Ore sama, me, ga, I'm gonna do something, jiki jiki ni. So, jiki jiki ni. This is a new word and this means personally, like directly. So, ore sama jiki jiki ni means I'm gonna do it personally. And then we have koko de here, shimatsu shite aru. Means I'm gonna put an end to you. So, if we put it all together, I'm gonna deal with you personally, right here. <laughs> and Ryuji has a great comeback here. He says, <laughs> So we're learning a ton of really interesting language in this episode. So, kochi, this side, us, no serifu. Now, serifu is one's lines in a play, in a script, in a movie, one's speech. This is the word when you're kind of saying, hey, that's my line, kochi no serifu. And actually, if you're looking for game scripts, like the written scripts for a game online, serifu is the word you want to search for. You can look for it in kanji or just in katakana, maybe in hiragana, usually kanji and katakana, serifu is lines. So that's our line. Sekuhara yado. <laughs> now, sekuhara, you might be able to already guess what that means. It's a combination of an English word turned into katakana. Seku for sexual, hara for harassment. So, sexual harassment. Sekuhara yado. <laughs> now, you can put yado at the end of anything to kind of call someone a bastard of that. So, sekuhara yado, you sexually harassing bastard. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so we've already seen kate with ski kate, um, but here kate is to do something of one's own way of doing it. It's like a selfish way of doing something, right? Your own way. So, kate na kanchigai, this is a misunderstanding. So, we've already learnt machigai, um, and this is to show that you are kind of mistaken for something, right? You, you make a mistake. But kanchigai is actually more of like a misunderstanding. You have a mistaken idea about something, right? So he says, it's a selfish misunderstanding, saying that the whole sexual harassment is just someone else's misunderstanding of the situation. Hmm. Ahn doesn't like that, and she says, kanchigai, doko ka yo? So kanchigai, a misunderstanding, doko ga yo? Where? is a misunderstanding, right? Where in all of this is someone's misunderstanding? So, hito ni ienai, unable to say to people, yona koto, things like that. Shteta, you did, kuseni, despite. So despite you doing things that you can't even say to people, right? So really disgusted, perverted, hidden things. So, you've been doing things that you can't even tell people about. And so he replies with, So, kakusu here is a new word, and this means to hide something, right? So, here we're hiding the sexual harassment, right? And so, kakushite kureta no wa means those that hid it for me is. Mawari no renshu da. Mawari is your surroundings, right? The people or the, the, the area around you. And we can see that it's talking about people because it's mawari no renshu. Renshu here is the people, right? It can be a group, it can be a band, it can be company of people, um, but here it's just the people around me. So if we put this all together, kakushite kureta no wa mawari no renshu da. It was the people around me who hid those things. And then we have the longest sentence in this video right here. So let's have a look. There are five new words. Ore sama no jiseki. So jiseki is one's achievements, right? So my achievements. Ore sama no jiseki ni. And then we have ayakari tai. Now, this comes from ayakaru, the verb to enjoy the same benefits of something, um, so to kind of reap in the, the fields of someone else's hard work, right? So it's kind of like, here he's saying that 
the people, otona, the next new word, the adults, the people who want to enjoy the benefits of my achievements. So he is an achieved sports player and he says that people want to benefit from his achievements. So, ore sama no jiseki ni ayakaritai otona ya kachigumi ganbo no tsioi seito tachi. So, kachigumi is the group of winners. You're a winner, you're a loser. Kanchigumi is the ones that are the winners. Gambo is to desire something, to want something. No tsioi. So, gambo ga tsioi, gambo no tsioi. So, we're saying that the people who have strong desire to win, to be a part of the winner group, Kanchigumi gambo no tsioi seito tachi. Seito is a student. So, just like we said previously that kyoshi is for a teacher, seito is what you call a student. So, if we put all of this together, adults who want to take advantage of my achievements, and students who have a strong desire to be winners. So we have one new word here, which is this susunde. So, soitsura ga, they're the ones that did. Susunde means of one's own will. This is a tricky word because you might think it's just the te form for susumu, to advance, but it's not. It's actually this expression here to say to do something of one's own will. So, soitsura ga, they did of their own will, susunde, ore sama o, so doing for me, and then mamota, to have protected from Mamoru. So they willingly protected me. Those adults and those students that he just previously mentioned, they're the ones who protected me. Minna de tokusuru tame ni na. So, minna de, with everyone. And then we have this word in brackets, toku. So this means profit or kind of an advantage or a gain, right? Something that you get from something. So they're wanting to get things from him. That's the toku, the the profit. Suru tame, in order to. So, they were all in it for the profit. Tokuda? Tokuda? Profit? Tokuda? Ah, wakaranai baka ga osugirun da yo. So wakaranai don't understand, baka is actually surprisingly a new word, and this means an idiot. I don't know how this is a new word, but apparently it is. Uh, baka is a fool, an idiot. So idiots who don't understand, wakaranai baka ga osugiru. So oi means a lot, osugiru means too much. So there are too many idiots who don't understand. Wakaranai baka ga osugiru da yo. Kisamara, aokusai gaki domo mo. So kisamara, you bastards. Aokusai is an interesting piece of language because ao is blue and then kusai is stinky. So stinky of blue. There's actually a similar expression in English called like a greenhorn. Someone who is kind of wet behind the ears, someone who's inexperienced. So he's calling us kind of naive, stupid, inexperienced. Right. So, kisamara aokusai gaki domo. Gaki is kid, domo is kind of a plural derogatory way of talking about people. So, you damn kids. So, I've translated this as kind of like, like you naive little bastards. Tobi yori agatta ano komusume mo na. So, tobi oriru, tobi ori is now the noun for to have jumped. So, the one who has jumped, the one who jumped. Uh, the tobi yori yagatta, so the one who dared to jump, ano, that, and then ko musume. So, ko, child, small, musume, daughter, young woman. Put it together and it's kind of young lass. Now, this is a really weird situation to say young lass. That young lass who committed suicide <laughs> seems a bit weird. So I've translated this as more like a bitch because it is actually a very derogatory way of talking to someone, komusume, right? Little girl. Um, so you could say, and that little girl that jumped, or like I say, and that little bitch who jumped. So <laughs> <laughs> 
あんたにいいようにされて死んじゃおうとかほんとバカそうねあんたにいいようにされてそう,そうね、yeah, you're right. あんたに、by you, いいようにされて、so, ように、in order to, and then されて、to be treated or made to do, so, to be done however you want. So, yeah, you're right. To be taken advantage of by you. 死んじゃうとか、ほんとばか。So, 死ぬ is to die. 死んじゃう is Let's die! <laughs> to try and die. So, to try and die, toka, things like that. Honto, really, baka, an idiot. So, she's a real idiot to try and die. So, ne, anta ni i yo ni sare te, shin jo o toka, honto baka. So, ne, kizui te ager ale na katta watashi wa, motto baka. And then we have only one new piece of language here, which is kizuku. Now, this is to realize something. Really, really useful expression to, oh, 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 ah, <laughs> to realize something. Oh my god, it's 4 a.m. <laughs>、uh, to realize something, true story.、Uh, to realize something, you would say, Sore ni kizi de agerare nakata. I was unable to notice for her, watashi, as for me, motto baka. I'm an even bigger idiot. So, I'm even more of an idiot for not realizing that for her. But no matter how much of an idiot. So, ikiteku means to go on living. Koto ni, so the thing of going for the thing of, you know, going on living. Anta no yurushi, your forgiveness, nanka, things like that, iranai, don't need. So, no one needs permission from you to live. Era so ni suru na yo. So, era so is kind of to be all high and mighty. Era i is to be amazing, great. When someone is impressed with someone, they might say, oh, era i na, to be wow, you're really great. But era so ni is like you're trying to appear great, right? So, era so ni suru na. Don't be so high and mighty. Torie mo nai bonjinga. So, torie mo nai. So, this is an interesting piece of language because torie. Is merit, worth, right? Someone having something of worth, of merit. More nai means you don't even have. So, someone who doesn't even have any worth. And then we have bonjin, which means an ordinary person. So, this is probably a really good time to use the word peasant. And actually, in the game translation, they did use the word peasant,、uh, so right here. However, because they didn't literally use the Japanese word for peasant, that's not what I've described here. So, right here, An ordinary person with no value at all. Ore dake no sai no o ore no tame ni tsukatte nari ga warui. So, ore dake no sai no. Ore dake only me and sai no is talent. So, it's talent that's unique to me, right? My special talent. Ore dake no sai no o ore no tame ni for my own sake tsukatte to use nari ga warui. What is wrong with that? So, warui is actually a new word. Don't know how that's a new word, but it is.、Um, warui means bad. So, it's no good. right? So, here, nani ga warui means what is wrong. What is wrong with me wanting to use my own abilities to help myself? So, ore sama wa as for myself, hoka no ningen. Oof, okay, interesting. So he says the other humans. Whoa, okay, here's a sign for things to come. Hoka no ningen, the other humans domo. So putting down those, those damn humans, right? To wa, compared to them, chigaun dayo. I am different. 
And so here we have the other Chigao. We've now learned uh, Machigao, Kanchigai, and Chigao. So here is to be different. I am not like those other damn humans. <laughs> <laughs> so, so ne, yeah, you're right. Omaiwa, you are ningen nanka, such a thing as a human, janai. You're not. So, that's true. You're not even human. Gesu na yokubo ni toritsukareta, saite no akuma yo. So, gesu here is a sleaze bag, right? Just like a really gross, ugh, gesu, right? And he's very much a gesu. <laughs> so, gesu na yokubo, the desire, ni toritsukareta. So, this is another new word which is to be haunted by something, to be obsessed with something. Toritsukareta. So, what are you possessed by? Gesu na yokubo, that sleaze bag desire. So you're possessed by that sleazy desire. Saite, that means the absolute lowest, the worst. Saite no akuma. Now, if you played Street Fighter, you should know this word akuma is actually the Japanese word for a demon. So this is all it is. Akuma is just called demon <laughs> in Japanese. Akuma, if you say it in English. So here, you're nothing but a sleaze bag low-life demon that's possessed by your desires. So, yeah, you're right. I'm not the same as you guys. So, Kono Sekai, this world, or and then we have the next new word, shihai suru. So this means to control, <laughs> uh, kind of world control, world domination. Uh, shihai suru is that word. So he says, Kono sekai o shihai suru akumasa. I am the demon who rules this world. Kono sekai o shihai suru akumasa. Nanda koitsu. What the hell is that? Zembu ore sama no katte daro ga. So, Zembu, everything. Ore sama, me. No katte. So, we've already learnt katte means selfish, it means to do as however one wants, right? So, it is all however he wants it to be. So, if you put it all together, it's kind of like a, I'm allowed to do whatever the hell I want. Machigateru. You're wrong. <laughs> Machigateru. So, Bonjin, we already know it's kind of like a peasant, mediocre, low class person. Kuzu, trash, no ksogaki. We're having all kinds of insults piled into together. You're a peasant, you're a trashy, shitty, kid <laughs> kuzu no kuso gaki <laughs> so peasants you shitty little brats hito ni yubisasu na te naratte ne no ka 
Ah? <laughs> so, hito ni yubi sasu. Yubi is one's finger, and then sasu is to point. So, to point your finger at people. Hito ni yubi sasu. To point at people. Te. So, we're now quoting that. Narate ne no ka. So, narao is another new word, and this means to be taught something or to have learnt something. So he's saying, narate ne, didn't you or haven't you learnt not to point your fingers at people, right? Miro, otakara asoko da! Miro, otakara asoko da! So, miro, look. Otakara is the treasure. So that's the thing that we're searching for. So we can see that it's there. Otakara, asoko da. It's over there. So, takara is something that you'll learn a lot if you play RPG games. Uh, takara bako is a treasure box, right? So just o takara is just talking about the treasure by itself. Miro, otakara asoko da! Suki o tsuite, totte yaroze! Suki o tsuite, totte So, ski o tsuite. So, ski is from schema, an interval, a space. And then sku is to to kind of like that. So, there's a time, just the right timing, and you're going like that. That means to take advantage of the time, right? To find the time, the opportunity, look for the opportunity, and totte yaro. Let's take it. So, look for an opportunity to steal it. So we have two new pieces of language here. Yatsu o kogeki shite, to attack him. Chansu, guess you can guess what that is. It's just a chance, an opportunity. Chansu o, and then we have ukagao. Now, ukagao can often be like when you're peeking into a, a keyhole. That is ukagao. Or to peep, to peek, that's ukagao. But here, it's actually to look for an opportunity or a chance. So it's to kind of keep your eye out for a chance. So if we put this all together, it's kind of like a, we'll attack him and wait for our chance. So, uso means a lie. Uso daro means no way. Right? No way! That's a lie, right? Zen nippon. Zen is all nippon or nihon is Japan. So, the all Japan championships, right? Zen nippon de yusho no toki. So, yusho here is winning the championships. And we can see that it actually has a combination of some of its language. Yu comes from kind of an excellent or a high quality, and then Sho actually is a victory. So it's a kind of, you know, a victory in a championship. That's what Yu Sho means, winning the title. So he's saying that that was from when I won the All Japan Championships, referring to his treasure that we just destroyed. Yosh! Alright! Yosh! Konna koto shite yurusareru to omotten no ka? Do you think you're allowed to do this? Do you think that I'm going to forgive you? Ore sama wa na? Ii ka? Ore sama wa na? <laughs> so here you can see that he's kind of losing his mind. He's he's kind of uh, you know you know. Ore sama me wana you know ika you hear and then ore sama wana you know. So I'm you know I'm you know. Kamoshida nanda zo. So I'm Kamoshida. Kamoshida 
それはどうした What about it? それはどうしただから俺様は顔下なんだ俺様は大笑いだだから俺様はカモシラなんだ。So, I'm カモシラ。俺様は王なのだ。I am the king. だから俺様はカモシラなんだ。俺様は王なのだ。人のこと見下してるくせによ。今のお前、すげえ出せ。人のこと見下してるくせによ。今のお前、すげえ出せ。<laughs> so, hito no koto, about people. And then we have this new word, mi kudasu. So, this is to look down on someone. So, mi is to look, and then kudasu is to kind of put down, to give down, right? So, to look down on the people. Kuseni is despite. So, despite you looking down on people, ima no mai, you right now. Suge <laughs> dase. So, suge is sugoi, really, greatly, and then dase is dasai. That means lame. <laughs> so, if you're like me and you like dad jokes, <laughs> then you are very dase. <laughs> you are very dasai. Lame. <laughs> Yay! Hito no koto mikuda shiru kse ni yo. Ima no omae, suge dase. わざわざ取りに来てやってんのさっさと渡してくれるわざわざ取りに来てやってんのそう、so, わざわざ to do something on purpose or expressly 取りに来る is to come to take and then やってんの we are so we've come here expressly to take that さっさと渡してくれる so さっさと is the one new word we have here and this means to do something really really quickly さっさと so hurry up quickly 渡してくれる Could you not just give it to us? <laughs> so, could you not just hurry up and give it to us? Damare! Ore sama nanzo ni kore wa watasan! So, damaru is the one new word we have here, and this is to be quiet. It's to shut up. It's complete silence. Just damaru. Right? So we've learned that urusai is kind of like shut up. But urusai is like when someone's being really noisy and it's like someone's like, yeah, just shut up, urusai. But damare is like silence. <laughs> uh, it's very much nothing. Silence, damare. Kisamara nanzo, so the likes of you. Nanzo is very similar to nanka, right? The likes of you, nanzo. Kore, this wa watasan. I will not be handing it over. So, silence. I will not hand it over to the likes of you. どうしたの逃げないの So, what's wrong? You're not running away? どうしたの逃げないの逃げたらいいじゃない逃げたらいいんじゃない It'd be good if you just ran away. So it's kind of like a, why don't you just run away? 逃げたらいいじゃない運動神経、抜群なんでしょ<laughs> and here、uh, she's referring to something that、uh, Kamoshida previously said、uh, earlier on in the game. He said that he has undo shinke batsugan. So he has very superior motor reflexes. So the undo is movement of your body, right? And then shinke is your reflexes. So your motor skills, undo shinke, batsugan is superior. Really, really, really good. So, undo shinke. Your athletic ability is superior, isn't it? So, here talking about the fact that, you know, he should be able to run away right now, what's wrong? Mukashikara soda. 
So Mukashi is in the past, a long time ago. So in the past, ever since the past, Mukashi kara soda. It's been that way. So it's always been like this. Hayena domo ga kitai to yu na no oshitsuke bakari. So hayena is the katakana word for hyena. Hyena domo, so those damn hyenas. So he's now referring to those people who are all sucking up to him, trying to feed off of him, right? His success. Hyena domo ga kitai to yu na. So kitai is expectation. So when you have expectation for something, that is kitai. Um, personally, I like not to have any kitai. I don't like to have any expectation for something. That way, I'm not disappointed. <laughs> um, but kitai to yu na. So in the name of expectation, no oshitsuke bakari. And oshitsukeru is to kind of impose, right? To push and put on, right? To impose your expectations on him. And bakari just means to do nothing but. So if we put this all together, he's like, all of these hyenas always imposing their expectations on me. So, soitsura no bun, soitsura, those guys, bun is kind of the amount, the part, right, to do for one's part, so for their part, made, up until their part, yatte yaterunda, I'm doing the work. So, I'm doing their work for them. Mikaeri o motome, nani ga warui. So mikairi is an interesting piece of language here because miru is to look and then kairi is to look back. And so what it means is that you're looking for something in return, like a reward or a payment for something, right? You've done something, you're looking back, hey, where's my payment, right? So that's mikairi. So mikairi o motomete. So motomeru is to seek something, to want something or to request something, right? So to request reward for one's work, right? Mikairi o motomete, nani ga warui? What's wrong with that? So, iwake, i is to say, wake is reasoning. If when you say the reasoning of something, that's you giving the excuse, right? So, iwake kayo, excuses. Iwake kayo. So, these are the two new words that we have. Yugamu is to be twisted, perverted, messed up, right? And then kokoro is your heart. But it could also be your mind. It could be both. So, I would say here that it's perhaps his heart, but it could also be his mind, right? Your twisted mind, your twisted heart. Um, it's really, you know, who you are, who you believe, how you feel and think about things. That's your kokoro, right? So, your twisted heart. Uganda kokoro. Orera, us, ga, we are going to nantoka shite aru. We'll do something about it. So, we'll take care of that twisted heart of yours. Omae no sono Uganda kokoro. Kawaii, <laughs> are you scared? So <laughs> this is the word for scared, to be something to be frightening, something to be scary. Uh, be very careful when you say this word, if you ever come to Japan, uh, this was one of my first ever mistakes speaking <laughs> uh, when I came to Japan. Um, it is kawaii not kawaii. <laughs> I once called someone uh, kawaii when I meant to call them cute <laughs> and uh, that wasn't a good reaction. Scary! <laughs> so kawaii. Very similar to kawaii but kawaii. Scary. So ima now anta wa you are as for you shihoto as shiho onaji, the same as. Keshiki is a new word, and this means the scenery, right? So um, maybe you have a really nice scenery around your house, right? I, I'm quite, I quite like my scenery. <laughs> I live right next to the mountains with a nice river. That is the keshiki. So she's saying right now the same scenery as shiho o miterundayo, you're looking at. 
So you're looking at the same scenery as Shiho. Now, as I said previously, uh, it's not in this video, but Shiho jumped from a building. And so that's what she's referring to here. Standing in a very tall place. Oh, what are you going to do? So, kitto means certainly. It's very, very certain. So, definitely, kitto. I'm certain of it. Shiho mo. Shiho was also kuakata. She was also afraid. Demo. Tobi oriru shika nakata. However, she had no choice but to jump. She had nothing else. Kitto shiho mo kuakata. Demo. Tobi oriru shika nakata. Anta wa dou suru no? Anta wa dou suru no? What are you gonna do? <laughs> okay, so getting pretty pushy here, you know, saying like, my friend, she committed suicide. What are you gonna do now? Are you gonna commit suicide? <laughs> so she's getting quite uh, aggressive right now and quite obviously she wants to murder him. He's done a lot of terrible things. So Tobioriru to jump off, Soretomo or else. So she's kind of giving an option. Are you gonna do that? Soretomo or else? Koko de here, shinde miru. <laughs> so shinu is to die, and then shinde te miru is to try and do something. So, kind of like, are you gonna jump, or do you just wanna die here? Tobi oriru. Sore tomo koko de shinde miru. Hito omoi ni todome sashi chimao ka? Ma, makasu ze. Okay, and now this is the final big sentence with lots of new words. Uh, most of the other sentences are nice and short now, but this is the final big one. So, Hito omoi ni todome sashichao kana ma makasu ze. So, hito omoi ni. So, this means instantly, right? And then todome here is the finishing blow. It actually has a kanji for stop. So kind of think about finishing someone off, stopping something, right? Todome, and then this is actually a part of an expression, todome o sasu. So sasu by itself is to stab, to prick, to thrust. So it's kind of to thrust the finishing blow, right? To finish someone off. So if you put it together, todome o sasu is to finish off someone or to make sure someone's dead to deliver the finishing blow. So, do you want to instantly deliver the finishing blow? Hito omoi ni todome sashichao kana? Ma, makasu ze. So, ma, well, and then makasu here is to leave it to someone, to entrust it to someone. So, the little cat man <laughs> is saying, well, I'll leave it to you. Hito omoi ni todome sashichimao ka? Ma, makasu ze. Yamete kure! Tanomu! Yamete kure! Yamete kure, tanomu, yamete kure. <laughs> so, yameru is to stop. Yamete kure, please stop for me. Tanomu is a new word, and this means to request something. Please, 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 tanomu, tanomu, tanomu. Uh, again, if you watch my verb video, you will definitely remember this word. Uh, there is a great example with uh, Kimetsu no Yaiba from tanomu, tanomu, tanomu. Um, so, that means to, um, to request something. So, please stop. Yamete kure, tanomu. So, minna, everyone, anata ni, to you, so itan, so so in that way, ita had said, and then n janai no, isn't it that? So, isn't it that everyone said the same to you, right? Please stop. Minna, anata ni, so itan janai no, kedo, anata wa heki de ubatte tanda. Kedo, anata wa heki de ubatte tanda. Kedo. However, anta you heiki de. So, heiki is just no feeling. Just heiki, right? He is kind of flat. And then ki, you can kind of remember as the feeling, right? So, if you just imagine heiki, no change in emotion, no change in feeling, right? And so that's where you see this kind of remorsely without hesitation. Heiki de ubatte tanda. You stole everything from them without any hesitation. But you didn't care. You just took it all away.
、俺の負けだ。わかった。俺の負けだ。So, I, I got it. I understand. It's my loss. 負け is loss. わかった。俺の負けだ。とどめをさせよ。So, deliver the final blow. So he's saying to kill him. とどめをさせよ。そうすれば、現実の俺にもとどめをさせる。そうすれば、現実の俺にもとどめをさせる。So, そうすれば、That is so in that way. すれば、if you do. So, if you do in that way. 現実の俺 So remember, this is the kind of second world and the real world, like we saw at the beginning of the video, that is the real world. So the real him, 現実の俺にも also to him, とどめをさせる You'll be able to deliver the final blow to him as well. そうすれば、現実の俺にもとどめをさせる勝ったお前らにはその資格がある勝ったお前にはその資格がある。So, 勝った、to have won, お前ら、you guys who won にはあ、as for you guys who have won, その資格、so 資格 here is the kind of the right to do something or the qualification to do something がある、you have. So he's saying, look, you guys who have defeated me, you won, you have the right to kill me. 勝ったお前らにはその資格がある。<laughs> Ah! Whoa, okay, so quite crazy. So she clearly spares his life and she says, So, Haijin here is a new word, and this is kind of like a disposed person, right? A kind of a mute, someone who doesn't work anymore. Right? So here we have kind of、uh, disabled, not in the physical disabled sense, but in the kind of invalid sense, right? The, the, the more like the, the empty person, the brain doesn't work anymore, just phew, gone, right? Kind of a hollow shell. That's what this haijin here is. So, haijin ni narare tara, if he becomes this disabled person, tsumi ga, your crimes, his crimes, ga, shoume deki naku naru. So, shome is to prove something, remember from previously. Shome deki naku naru means you become unable to do it. You become unable to prove his guilt. So, if he becomes an invalid, <laughs> we will be unable to prove his guilt, right? If he's just a, <laughs> a little zombie、uh, in the real world, then we won't be able to prove the crimes that he's done. Ando no wa yasashi na. Ando no wa yasashi na. So, an is the girl's name. Dono here is a really interesting piece of language. So, you might see this、uh, if you've seen my、uh, Ghost of Tsushima video <laughs> quite a long time ago.、Um, but, dono is used with kind of the error of samurai and knights to kind of talk about a lord, or in this case, a lady, right? So, here, Lady An, An Dono, right?、Um, so if you want to mess around and just play around with people, this is Dono is the same as like Kun, Sama, Chan, that type of thing, but it's just more of like a samurai knight realm. So Lord Matt, <laughs> Matto Dono, <laughs> Lady An, An Dono, <laughs> An Dono wa yasashi. Now, this is the word to be kind, nice, caring, right? Ah, yasashi ne. Or here, yasashi na. So, Lady Anne, you're so kind. Ando no wa yasashi na. Ore wa maketa. Ore wa maketa. I'm defeated. So, we know makeru is to lose, and here, maketa, be defeated. Ore wa maketa. Maketa ra owarida. Maketa ra owarida. When you've lost, it's over. So, Owari is the end. It's over. What am I supposed to do now?
罪を償え。Atone for your sins. So, 罪 is the sin, the crime. And then we have this new word, 償う And this here is to make up for something, to compensate, to atone. So, to atone for your crimes. 罪を償え。わかった。俺は現実の俺の中に帰ろう。So, we have one new word here, and that is 帰る。<laughs> so, わかった means I understand. 俺は、as for me, 現実の俺、the real me の中、inside 帰ろう。I will return. So, this raw form, you might be thinking, why is it here? So, this is just showing volition. It's showing that he will. Return back, right? So, Kaido. So, Ste, Kanarazu. So, Ste means and then, and Kanarazu means without question. So, with absolute certainty. Definitely, Kanarazu. So, he will definitely. All the things that he said previously. Oi, oi, naga banashi s t e r u himu wa nai ze. So, oi, oi is like, hey, hey, oi is, is like, hey. Nagai is long, hanasu is to talk, put it together, nagai banashi, naga banashi. Naga banashi s t e r u so to be having a long conversation, hima wa nai. Hima means when you're free. Right? So if you have some free time, you're Hima. If you want to ask your friend, like, hey, are you free right now? You would ask, are you Hima? Right? That is to be free, to not have anything to do. So they're saying that we're not free to be able to talk like this right now, right? The whole world's kind of collapsing. <laughs> Which is exactly what he says right now. So, ここは as for here, suguni immediately, and then this new word, hokai suru, is to crumble and collapse. As you can see, the world is hokai shteru, it is collapsing, right? So, that is the word here, hokai suru. ここはすぐに崩壊する。走れ run! Shinu, Shinu Teba. So Shinu is to die, and she says it again twice. And then this Teba. So this is kind of like a I said, right? So she's like, We're gonna die. I said we're gonna die, you know? <laughs>、um, this is interesting because Teba is. To say, right, I said, right, to remind someone of something. And it actually has a little bit of connection to Naruto's Datte Bayo,、uh, if, if, if you've heard that expression before.、Uh, and that's kind of him kind of being reassuring, right? I said, I said, right?、Um, so this Teba is, is saying, I said. So, we're gonna die! I said, we're gonna die! <laughs> Hey! So, choto means like a little, right? But you can actually say it when someone's doing something that you're like, hey, hey, stop that! Choto! <laughs> so, the cat jumping on people's heads, hey, choto! Teme, z u r u i z o So, teme, you. And then, z u r u i here is a new word. And this means unfair, right? So, it's kind of cheeky, sneaky, sly, unfair. z u r u i Um, however, we can see here in a kind of masculine way, it's just zuri. It's kind of a little bit more of a guy slang way of talking. Zuri zo! <laughs> Instead of zuri zo. Hey you, no fair! Damn it, me go! And so here are the final two words that we're going to learn Hisa bisa. Now, you might actually know a little bit of this already. You might be able to guess already. Hisashi buri, it's been a long time. Hisa bisa, you just repeat that. It's been a long time ago, right? So, hisa bisa, and then here we have motsureru. Now, this is to get entangled, to trip up, 
right? So he's just saying that, look, hey, it's been a while. Um, I'm, I'm just, I've just tripped over. That's all. <laughs> And that is it! Congratulations, everyone! A huge, 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 huge Otskade Summer. That was a huge video. I hope you guys learned a lot of really interesting language and had a lot of fun in the process. It's been a long time since my last vocab video. I'm really sorry for that. It's not because I don't want to do it. It's just because I've been really busy. I've been working on a whole bunch of new concepts, uh, you know, obviously getting the N3 grammar ready uh, and all of that research as well as well as the verb video I just did, which took a whole month. That was crazy, but uh, I think it's a really cool video. Also been trying out a few different um, ideas as well, and so it's just been taking a little bit of time to get the vocab series out. However, I hopefully will be able to actually release a little bit more than this this year. <laughs> we managed to get six vocab episodes last year. This year, let's try to get a little bit more, maybe 10, maybe, hopefully, hopefully, please. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so congratulations, guys. You guys have now learned, as we can see here, 27% of the N5, 21% of the N4, 15% of the N3, and 3% of the N2, 4% of the N1. That's weird. We've learned more N1 than we have N2. <laughs> uh, making a total of 1,168 words that we have covered. So congratulations, we finally hit 1,000 words with the vocab series. So thank you so much, guys, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying everything I'm doing with the channel. I have so much that I'm working on, just crazy amounts of stuff. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy everything that's coming. Uh, and thank you very much for watching. So. What kind of game do you want to see next for episode 8 of the vocab series? So, for the next episode, it's all up to you. Whatever game you want to happen, just vote in the comments section. Whatever game gets thumbs up the most, that game is going to be featured in the next game for the vocab series. So, whatever game you're interested in, please leave a comment down below. My three recommendations, just like always, I give three recommendations. This time, I have Boku no Natsuyasumi. So I've seen a lot of people really interested in Boku no Natsuyasumi, and I would love to cover some of that, um, especially the kind of beginning part to kind of help people get into the game. Uh, it's a really, really cool game, uh, and a fun, friendly, feel-good game. The next game I'd really like to cover is actually Final Fantasy X. Um, I've kind of been feeling like checking that game out for a while now, and I think it would be a cool game to have a look at. Lots of voice acting, really interesting scenes. Um, so that's my other recommendation. And my final recommendation for the vocab series is Dragon Quest XI. So I think Dragon Quest would be a really fun game to cover. It's beautiful great for Japanese language learners, so I think it'd be a really good game to introduce to people if you haven't already played it. So that is my third recommendation for the vocab series. But as always, my recommendations don't matter. That's just to get the ball running. What matters is what you guys want to watch. So please leave a comment in the comment section below. Whatever game you want to see, thumbs it up. And whatever gets the most thumbs up, that is going to be what game we're going to cover next. So thank you very much, guys. A huge love heart to all of the supporters on Patreon. You guys are keeping all of this this going so thank you so much for all of your support seriously genuinely thank you uh, really appreciate everything that you guys are doing to help me keep this going uh, I'm, I'm so 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 proud of you know what we're growing here uh, and you know being able to kind of make learning Japanese a fun experience for everyone uh, I really didn't enjoy learning Japanese when I was, you know, younger. And so to be able to kind of help make a little bit more of a fun way for people to learn Japanese is such an honor and special thing for me. So thank you so much, everyone, for supporting uh, my vision and what I want to do. <laughs> Trying to help learning Japanese a little bit more fun for everyone. So thank you very much, guys. As always, I'll see you next time. Have a wonderful new year. And I'll see you all guys in the next video. See ya.